Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. I've actually done a reaction to this song before in the past to Johnny Cash's version, but of course this is the original, and although it is kind of the same, I have listened to it before, it has a really, really different vibe, and he has a really interesting voice, so let's give it a listen. Gets me straight away. <laughs> okay, this introduction is so gentle. I love the wind effect in the background. I think it's probably actually like a synth a sound that's going on. And his vocals are so interesting. He moves between something that's quite a tight sound. So his vowel shape is really quite wide. The needle, and it has a bit of squeeze and compression into it, into something that's really relaxed and really breathy. Days are it kind of, he doesn't even finish the word, but it sounds so fragile and so angsty. It, you, that constant push and pull, there's this juxtaposition between that really squeezed sound and that really breathy, relaxed, fragile sound that sounds like it could break at any moment is, is really, really beautiful and really well done within this. And I think this is a song, especially this version, of um, juxtapositions, and we'll, we'll talk about that in the next section. It really draws you in. You can hear the crowd are going quiet, you know? That build is so beautiful and the uplifting nature of the music, it almost reminds me of Christian rock, those big mega churches where it is just really beautiful and uplifting but the lyrics are so dark and that juxtaposition again is so wonderful and everything is um, subtle, it's really in its place. So that one big note, Dung, that bass note just lifts it and all it is is one single note but that one single note makes so much difference So he is going between that squeeze sound. Now, I, I'm saying this, and it isn't something that's always something that you want to do, but it definitely gives you the feeling of emotion. Like, it, that feeling when you can't speak because you're so disgusted with yourself, I guess, is, is the emotion. Oh, and it 
you, if you want to make a beautiful free sound, that's not what you want to do. The important thing is that it isn't coming from his neck, it isn't tensing around here, but that feeling of squeeze is happening somewhere above his voice box, up into his mouth. So that shape is smaller than perhaps you would make in other styles of music or in other songs. He probably has an, a more open sound in other songs when he wants that freedom. <sighs> I love this little dissonant, dissonant notes on the piano. So simple, but so effective. That stop is so important. It gives the audience time to kind of focus, to sit in that emotion. Um, you're kind of there, you're, you're held in that emotion for that second of silence. And actually you don't really hear it in this because the audience are, are really loud, but there are versions of this where you can just hear his single breath where he's like, what if, and that breath, I love it. I love it because I feel like the breath says so much about your emotions. If you're happy, if you're sad, if you're excited, if it's a sigh, the way that we breathe, um, besides like singing breath support, but the emotional way we breathe says so much beyond what the words can say. This constant's become. That's a really interesting one because people often say C's like k k k and it gets lost at the back of their mouth but if you want to make something sound like you're seething or you really want to get a point across without being loud, k k make it sound like a little drum hit, k it makes a real difference. <laughs> See what I mean about this section, that, that really simple chord structure and the drums, it gives you this uplifting feeling as if you are praising God, but it, it's different than that. That combination is something that is so fascinating when you get that like, uh, it feels like praise, but actually it's something much darker. And there is something so brilliant about this song. He, his heart is so specific to him. And there's something about the song that, you know, when you give it to Johnny Cash, you hear his specific form of hurt, the hurt that he's going through. And at that point it was old age. Um, for for Trent here, it's it's really different. It's much more youthful and angsty and um, brooding in a different way. And every time I hear a cover of this, I feel like it really exposes the way in which that person feels pain. I, I think it's a really beautifully well-written song. And I don't know a song that quite does the same thing that has quite the same place in society. It's such an interesting song. You really see people.
so powerful. I really love this song's ability to um, help you really understand a person and the pain that they're going through. Maybe we should all go and sing this song. It's very exposing, this song. Um, but there's something that just gives you transparency into a person's soul. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Do 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 ba da 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 da